Welcome to another Linden Elevator YouTube Valve video. This is going to be as if you had just taken a UC4 or 4M valve out of the box from Linden Elevator. First thing you'll want to do is verify that you have the correct valve. On the UC4M, the jack is on the left hand side. On the UC4 valve, the jack is on the right hand side. The M stands for mirror image. So on a UC4 and 4M, the jack and the tank trade places. Please be certain that before you try to install your valve that you have the correct orientation for your orifices. The next thing that you want to check, and it's kind of hard to read down here, but they have a sizing on all of the newer valves. On the very early versions of these valves, it is not labeled. But your newer valves will all be labeled with either STD for standard flow, or it could be E1 or E2. Those are the two reduced flow rates for this valve. E1 being the most restrictive, E2 is in the middle, and standard is the full flow version of this valve. On Otis installs, you may find that in place of the letters or numbers here, it may say 271 and then followed by some letters and numbers. Those would be the new uh, Otis part numbers for this valve. If you have a question, call Linden Elevator. Our phone number will be at the end of the video. When you get the valve out of the box, these seven adjusters here will be very close. These adjusters, with the exception of the UL adjuster, all deal with timing on how quickly or slowly the valve reacts. So, these should be very close. Please do not go to presets. You have your down leveling, down main, bypass, and pressure relief. The, these adjustments down below all deal with flow or critical measures, for example, your pressure relief. These will not necessarily be that close. Pressure relief is generally set somewhere between 350 and 500 PSI. We make sure that it reacts through that scale, but there is no determinate um, setting for the pressure relief. These other adjusters are all hollow. They are generally turned fairly far in so that they don't get broken in shipping. Uh, we do provide a, um, a shield for this in the shipping. It's usually in the form of some pink foam material. When you return your valve to us, please put the pink foam back over the front of the valve to protect these four lower adjusters. Your solenoid tubes on the up section, now this is the 4M valve, so everything is, uh, is being presented as if this was a 4M. The back solenoid tube is up leveling. The front solenoid tube is up high speed. On the downside, high speed is in the back, leveling is in the front. So they change places. They're kind of catty corner from each other. So when you take the valve out of the box, go ahead and get it installed. And you're going to want to set your bypass without your coil on the slow speed solenoid on the back. Just remove that either from the controller or remove it from the valve. If you take it off the valve, be sure to put a, um, um, a big T-handle or screwdriver through it so it doesn't burn up. Your bypass, it's in for, uh, you turn in until the car moves, out until it stalls, take another half turn. If your car is already moving, there's a good chance that the bypass might be too far in. Remember, it's a hollow tube, so we turn it in fairly far. If you turn your bypass out, and the car still insists on moving, the US adjuster may be too far in. We do set these up for an average and sometimes we miss a little bit. So if your car still wants to move with the solenoid removed and the bypass out, turn out on the up stop adjuster. Your up leveling is in for slower feet per minute, out for more feet per minute. This is your UA. It is turned out for a quicker acceleration, in for smoother, and transition, it's out for quicker, in for smoother. So if you have 14 inches of leveling, you'll turn in clockwise on the UT adjuster. The good thing about the 4 and the 4M series is UT does not affect UL like in most other valves. So this adjustment can be made independent. On rare occasions, you will find that if you have your UL adjuster turned all the way in, you're still exceeding your, your target leveling speed. In that case, that means that the FS adjuster on the side of the valve over here 
will need to be moved. You'll notice that we have a ceramic seal and a red tag on there warning not to move it without permission from Linden Elevator or you may void your warranty. Call us and we'll walk you through that procedure. On the downside, down accelerate here, it's in for smoother, out for firmer. Down stop is out for firmer, rarely do you need to go in to make it smoother. And DT is out for smoother, in for firmer. If you have any other questions, oh, and manual lowering on the side, of course, it's counterclockwise to lower your car in emergency. If you have any other questions about the operation of your Maxton UC4 or 4M valve, feel free to call Linden Elevator. Uh, do give it a shot straight out of the box after you adjust your bypass. And I think you'll find that your adjustments here on the top should be reasonably close and just need a little bit of tweaking. Please don't go to presets. Have a good day and call us if you need to. Our phone number is at the end of the video.